Hey everybody, Tam back with another video and I'm gonna show you how I turn this electric scooter into a hybrid. I'm gonna open it up and show you how I did it. The reason why I'm showing you how I did this is because I this switch right here, it broke. My on off on switch, it broke. So it's not switching the battery and the generator when I flip it. It's just staying off, so I can't use the scooter until I replace the switch. And I thought, because I had a few, uh, one question on how I did it, so I thought that, you know what, this would be the best time for me to make a video on this. Um, because I have to open it up anyway. This is the import, like I showed in my other video, this is where the, this is where the generator hooks up to on the trailer. And it kind of goes underneath the battery here. And it goes to the switch. The battery connects to the switch. And I'm going to explain that to you in just a moment after I take these like 12 screws off. Okay, so I'm going to explain this to you right now like I just said in the other clip. <laughs> so the trailer um, connection from the generator hooks up here or from the transformer or the power supply or whatever you want to call it um, goes down and here under to these butt connectors. It runs underneath the battery like that. Um, it goes to these this connection right here. This this is this connection goes straight to the switch. And behind this one, there is a battery connection with um, a very with the exact same connector as this one. As you can see there. This also goes to the on off on switch. And then coming out from the switch is um, this connector right here. This comes out of the switch, out of the switch and to the controller here. And I'll, I'll take the switch out and I'll explain it in more depth. And I'll just explain to you what I just did right now. Okay, so this is the wiring diagram, okay? This is the switch, this is the generator, this is the transformer, the controller, and the battery, okay? This is the exact same thing right here as this, but this is the back side of the switch because right here I'm explaining to you how to wire it. Right now I'm gonna explain to you how it works, okay? This is the battery, it goes to the switch. This is the generator for 120 volts AC to the transformer, which converts it to 120 volts AC to 36 volts DC output. And that goes to the switch and then out to the charge controller. And these are the communication wires. Okay, this controls the motor speed, the headlights, the braking, the brakes, um, the, I mean the brake lights, sorry. And Depending on what scooter you use, this is the most important part, okay? Depending on what scooter you use or what the voltage is of your scooter, um, you have to buy the transformer that matches it, okay? That convert, convert it from 120 volts to 36 volts. My scooter is 36 volts DC. My scooter runs on that voltage. Okay, your scooter might be 24 volts, 12 volts, or even 48 volts. Okay, so if your scooter was 48 volts, you would need a transporter, a transformer with a 48 volt output. Okay, if your scooter was 12 volts, you would need a scooter with a 12 volt output. Say so on and so forth with all the different voltages. If you have any questions on that, ask me in the comments below. I'm going to be linking this transformer in 36 volts DC. So don't make the mistake, you'll destroy your scooter if you put the wrong voltage in. Okay, so this is how you wire it. This is the battery right here, the battery. Goes to the positive side of the switch. This is the positive side. This is the negative side, okay? The battery goes to the positive, which is number one. And the negative goes to the other side of the switch, which is also number one right here. The switch that you use will not have numbers on it. Okay, I put numbers to make it easier. So the negative, the positive goes here, the negative goes here. Okay, this is the battery side. Okay, number three 
on my diagram. The generator goes to the transformer. The transformer goes to the positive side, okay, the positive side of the switch and the negative, okay? When you're wiring this up, it has to be on the same side, okay? Like, see how I did here? The same two wires from the same, from the battery, the wires have to be on the same side, okay? Has to be like that. The positive, the negative from the battery must be on the same side. I can't stress that enough because if you make that mistake, I don't know what will happen. Okay, this is, this is the load. This is what's going out. It goes out to the controller. The negative goes out to the controller and the positive goes out to controller. Okay, it does not matter which side you pick to be the positive or negative. This side could be the negative. I mean, it could be the positive and this side could be the negative. I chose for this side to be the positive and this side to be the negative. It does not matter as long, you have to make sure when you are this up, the positives are on the positive side and then the negatives on the negative side, okay? Can't stress that enough. This is the back of the on off on switch if I didn't say that already. I know this wiring diagram is a bit uh, messy. I never, I never drawn one before, but just take a screenshot of this to help you wire it or take a screenshot of this to help you wire it or take a screenshot of this to help you understand it. Okay, so I'm going to be replacing this switch that I accidentally broke with this switch right here. I'll link this in the description below, just like I'm doing with the, um, with this, with the power supply. And I'm also gonna link this scooter in the description below if you wanna build it, okay? Um, it doesn't matter what generator you use. I decided to use an inverter generator because it's safe for electronics. It, the inverter generator won't surge and I will, I do recommend you to use a inverter generator. Um, and so if you don't want to use a generator, you could get batteries, you could do batteries, okay? You could get 36 volt batteries and um, wire them together and put them on a, a wagon or something. Cause I put my generator on a wagon. As you can see in the other video, I'll link that in the description below. This is part two, I guess, I don't even know. Okay, I hope you understand this. If you have any questions, just ask and I'll try my best to answer them. Okay. I'm gonna be um, changing this out right now. Okay, so this video has to be split up here so I can stay within 15 minutes. Find part two in the description below.